What's going on guys, Ballistic Will here, back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be just running y'all quick through my vocal recording template on FL Studio. I'm gonna just show y'all how to set it up. It's really not hard, so don't stress. But first, I'm locked back in the studio, and I just dropped an album recently. Uh, support for support, I'd appreciate if you went and checked it out. It's under Ballistic Will on all stores. Support for support, I'm giving y'all the sauce on this, but I'm not wasting any time. Let's get straight into the video. Let's also go check out vocalsearch.com. It's really easy and we got presets, templates on there, everything you need to just do a quick mix, drop on your vocals. So yeah. Opening up FL Studio, you're going to want to go to File and go to New From Template and hit Empty. So select Empty and you've got this track. You got all your tracks right here. Open up the mixer and you got the same thing. You got our inserts or tracks, whatever, the faders. And this is not hard at all guys, I'm gonna just run y'all through it really fast. You're probably gonna need 10 tracks for this. Double tap on the first track and you'll see track mode down here and it says unassigned. You're gonna wanna go to audio track and select insert one. And I'm gonna show y'all like the basics of routing on FL Studio. So you're probably gonna wanna do that from one to 10. So I'm gonna just skip through, repeat the process. So now you've got them all routed. I just did it in order one through 10. And you're going to want to come up here and you see that in the mixer, they've all got like an A symbol now. And basically that means they're kind of like routed to each other. Basics of routing right here. Rename track one to B. And then you're going to want to double clap, double tap, <laughs> double clap, double tap again and change the color. I'm probably going to start with just like a light blue, maybe like neon blue. Probably go up to the mixer and start doing it here. And I'm gonna name this vocal bus. So yeah, you got your vocal bus. Probably maybe to like a, a neon green. Now I'm gonna name this one. If you guys got a preamp, which I recommend, it will just boost your like signal at first. So uh, probably name it just preamp. And I'm gonna change the color of that to maybe like a yellowish almost. So yeah. And basically these are your first three tracks right here. You wanna make sure that they have separators in between them. And what that does, it will help the sound, but it also just gives it like, you don't want them connected to each other if that makes sense, or it will not help the sound out, I'd say. So yeah, you got these three tracks routed to the master and you are gonna change this preamp eventually. So yeah, do one more separator right here. And we're gonna give this like a, another light blue color, I guess. And this is gonna be our record track. Now name this one hook. Yeah, name this one hook. Name this one hook two. And this is how I kind of like to record. You can name them whatever you want with like whatever you think is gonna go where. No, sorry, verse. Verse. Dang, I can't type today. Verse 2. No. Ad lib. Ad lib 2. So now you've got them all colored, all labeled. And what I would say from here is you want to go and you're going to want to delete the vocal bus because nothing is going on this. And you want to unselect, reset the associated mixer track. So it just deletes this track basically, but it's not messing up anything. Same thing with preamp. You just really don't want to mess this up. So you have got all your central tracks right here. And go back to the mixer. And this is where we're going to really start rerouting things. You want to unselect all these from the master fader, or master track, whatever. So now you want to unselect the preamp. If you have a preamp, you want to unselect that and you are going to route the preamp to all these tracks right here. So you've got your preamp going out to all these different tracks which is where you're gonna put your presets basically and now you are gonna to want to see if you can select all of these at once and basically you do shift command to select all of them and you want to go to vocal bus and double tap that and go to track routing and route selected to this track only 
So what that does is it routes them all here. So now they're all routed out to the vocal bus. And this is where you can add any extra effects. It's not the buses for it, but it is like if you want to put a compressor on here, whatever. I'm going to just throw on the CLA-2A, CLA-2A, because that will just give me an overall like compressed sound at the end. And I would go to Vox down here. That sounded the best for me. So yeah, now you've got everything almost routed correctly. You got your preamp going to all these tracks. You got the vocal bus still going to the master, beat going to the master, and preamp is going to all these tracks. Your record, tra so all these recording tracks or just um, your preset tracks are gonna go to the vocal bus and it's getting compressed right here and it goes out of your master. Let's test it out. Yo, what's going on guys? Yeah, let's just drag and drop one of my presets, which I'm gonna go down here and we're gonna go to Lil Uzi Autotune video, which is my Lil Uzi Vert. Whoa! Woo! Yeah. Diamonds. Let's go to um I'm gonna go to B major. Dom <laughs> Yeah. Wait, let the sun. Like the sunny way, let's do not me, let's do not me. <laughs> yeah, she was yours, then I made her mine. I get guap, now I don't waste no time. Smoking out of pee, don't use no nicks and dimes. Woo, yeah. So, yeah, guys, just load your preset back in. You're always gonna have to rename it again back to record. Go to change color, and you probably just want to change it to whatever you can. But yeah, that's it. Also, don't forget to put the separator back in there. But you have got this all routed out correctly. And just uh, let me explain how to do buses really fast. So you want to select probably five tracks about. So what you want to do is dock to right. You want to select about one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to want to go to dock right instead of the middle. And what that does is it puts all these on a different space. And when you are ready to have a bus or whatever, a bus is just where you can add extra effects. So actually put that back on and select your hook track, for example. You want to route this out to a bus. Let's just call this delay. Dang, really can't type. Delay. So you got a delay right here, and you can add, let's just say, um, H delay. You got H delay stereo, and yet, wait, let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. I didn't move real fast, yeah. Woo. So yeah, slide that down, and it's going to the hook now. Let's play it. It should have... Delay and everything. About this money, 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 some money, change. Change. Yeah. So yeah, I don't really want that sound, but that was just a quick example of how to set up a bus, basically. Yeah, your whole template right here, guys. That's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna just play y'all a little Z remake of a song called Dasani. It's unreleased, so you guys probably wouldn't even know. Uh, like tsunami, wait, like tsunami, like tsunami. Uh. Unless you're an Uzi fan like that. But yeah, let me just play y'all my remake of it on the template. It's wild, bro. <laughs> like the sun, like the sunny, wait, like the sunny, like the sunny, wait, like tsunami, like tsunami, wait, like tsunami, like tsunami, yeah. She was yours, then I made her mine. I get guap, but I don't got time Smoking out of pee, don't use no nicks and dimes Yeah guys, so I hope that was pretty easy for y'all I might have left out a few things I hope I was really good at explaining it I hope y'all enjoyed this video And I'ma keep making videos more often Go check out vocalsearch.shop It's got all our presets and templates And we're gonna have plugins soon So yeah, I'd appreciate if y'all would check that out 
And also go check out my music again. Drop a like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all in the next one.